So as those numbers continue to grow, the Culinary Union is now adamant, saying their workers are not in safe conditions. Now it's proposing a statewide mandate to protect those they say are most at risk. Sasha Loftus joins us now live from the Las Vegas Strip with the latest tonight. Sasha. Denise, the union says since casinos reopened in June that hospitalization rates among its members and their families have gone up 860 percent. Some say they are scared to get sick at work, but they have to make money. Now representatives are hoping to change that. He was such a happy, big-hearted person. Irma Fernandez pushes through her pain to share memories of her late father. He was strong and healthy, even if he... Even if you had blood, high blood pressure. Adolfo Fernandez died of COVID-19 complications last month while working at Caesar's Palace. My father will constantly tell me every day, I know I'm going to get sick at work. And this family is not alone. Representatives say since the pandemic began, 352 union members and their families have been hospitalized, with 22 losing their lives. We've been letting know. Uh, all the leaders in the state about the needs they have. That's why they propose the Adolfo Fernandez bill to mandate casino cleaning procedures and social distancing while also requiring temperature checks and regular testing. I talking with people who have their mother in, in the hospital and um, it's hard. They hope their continued calls for change can now turn to concrete action. He asked for help. He could barely push his cart the last day he went to work. So others don't suffer from this same tragic experience. Now, union representatives say they have contacted Governor Sisolak and other state representatives to get this bill in the agenda for the special session at the legislature. Now, we also reached out to Governor Sisolak's office, but have not yet heard back. For now, reporting live on the Las Vegas Strip, Sasha Loftus, 8 News Now.